hello hi and welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is Jennifer and this is genuine teaching and I'm trying really hard to beat the light that is setting at 419 in the afternoon because yes my friends we are in the middle of winter I really wanted to show you my background even though I love this background absolutely love it I wanted to show you this background, but as you can tell, it's a little bit darker. So let's just go ahead and show off the background really quickly that I wanted to share with you guys. And now let's move the camera so we have a little bit better lighting. So, hello, happy, I don't even know what day it is. It's somewhere between Christmas and New Year's. And if you're like me, I literally forget the days. I think it's a Thursday, but I could be wrong on that. Anyways, before we get into today's video, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Pear Eyewear. You guys know that I wear my Pear Eyewear glasses all of the time. Most of the time, honestly, I'm wearing the base frames. I love these base frames. They are pink, they are cute, and I absolutely love them. I feel like... They're like a great neutral, and you might be thinking, Jennifer, a pink, a neutral? Seriously, they are a clear pink, and I am wearing them almost every single day. However, sometimes I want to switch it up, and one thing that I really like is their top frames, and the first time that I received my glasses with my top frames, it came with this cool little case. And so in here you put the glasses, and in this little pouch you put the top frames. But my collection is steadily growing, and I already want to buy more. I want to wear, I want to get like a white pair and just kind of some solid colors to play around with. But I will show you the ones that I have. I have this pair right here. And I love how quick and easy it is to change out your glasses. I have this dinosaur frame, which is absolutely stinking adorable which is perfect for my third grade teacher heart because I actually do teach about dinosaurs and then another one that I got for school are these solar system ones because again I teach about space and those are really fun and then for fall I got a little bit fun and I got this pair that I was rocking during Thanksgiving week and then by far my favorite top frame I've ever received are these. And the reason I love these, I get so many compliments on them, but I just, I love the plaid look. I absolutely love it. But then I also got a pair of sunglasses because who doesn't want to have sunglasses where they're just like, wait, hold on, wait, what? And then you put them back on. So obviously don't wear them all like this I mean I guess you can if you really want to rock this look pair eyewear is a revolutionary eyewear brand that is changing how the world wears glasses offering high quality affordable and customizable prescription plus blue light glasses they have frame styles for everyone their magnetic top frames grant you the unheard of ability to change your eyewear and therefore your style once you try a pair on you'll never see eyewear the same again my favorite base frame is the Kirby, and as you can see, there are hundreds of different top frames. I love changing my look literally every single day, and being able to just change it up by changing your top frames is so affordable for me. I love that it's really easy to put your prescription in online. I don't know about you, but I get anxious when I am in the store and being able to shop from my house at an affordable price definitely is worth it for me. I spend so much money at the eye doctor and now instead of just having one really expensive pair of glasses, I can have affordable glasses with as many top frames as possible and I really really love this teeny tiny magnet that is on the end and it holds the glasses in place. You can click the link in the description box for 15% off of your first pair and check out Pair Eyewear and get 15% off your first pair. Thank you Pair Eyewear for my new everyday glasses and again for sponsoring this video. If you haven't checked out Pair Eyewear yet, definitely check it out. They make switching your glasses so incredibly 
easy. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, it doesn't matter if you like to live seasonally, just check it out in the description below. Tell them Jennifer sent you, and let's get on to this video. I have months and months of footage on my camera, and it's winter break, so naturally, I'm going through all of my footage, and I am trying to piece together some coherent video for you guys, and I realize I have a lot of random footage of my office slash library, and I didn't have any sort of intro or outro to those clips. And this is something I'm really excited about and I wanted to share this part of my life with you because when I'm not at work teaching, I'm in my little cozy room in my house doing all of my hobbies. People ask, how do you have a work-life balance? It's my hobbies. I absolutely love my hobbies. I love reading. I love playing video games. I like watching YouTube. I just, I have so many passions that I want to pursue. And honestly, I, I kind of want to add those into this YouTube channel as well. And I know I've kind of mentioned that in the past, but I really am feeling like a, like a, a draw to adding more content like that on this channel so definitely let me know if you guys are interested in that but this video I wanted to share off my office because I am really proud of it and it is exactly how I want it now like long run like long-term goals I would want to rip out this carpet and have it match the rest of the house with like the hardwood floor and take my gallery wall down get rid of these bookshelves and paint an accent wall like navy blue and then get actually like built-in shelves that are wood and get like a different seating area and get like a cute little rug for the middle of the room but that's like many 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 years from now but right now how my room is I absolutely love it so keep sticking around to the end of this video and I will show you like a complete tour of this room but let's go ahead and go to whatever this clip is that was kind of random from over Thanksgiving break over a month ago, almost two months ago. I don't even know at this point. And let's see where this room started. So I have lived in my house for about nine months. And I know a lot of you actually wanting to see like some sort of house tour. And I just, I don't know how I want everything set up yet. And one big place that I loved in the old house was my office. And I really loved my office because it was right in the middle of the house. It was a den, so it didn't have a door, which I didn't love that all the time because when people were over, they would just look into my office. But I really loved having it. I felt like I was in the middle of everything and that if I was in my office, I didn't feel like I was just tucked away somewhere in the house. Well, in this house, the rooms are smaller and we have one less room. Since we had a den, we did have a three bedroom house, but it was a three bedroom house plus a den. So in this house, we just have three bedrooms. So my office did not have a closet and I was just able to use the guest room closet at the old house. However, um, that house did have a much larger closet and I was able to fit like my craft stuff in here. So this is the overview of my room and I don't think I've shown my room prior to what I did last weekend. Maybe I have and if I have it's not on my channel like very often but I had a huge bookshelf. It's one of these but instead of four I believe it was eight. And so I had it here and it made more of like a counter and it was all my crafting supplies. Well, I have these bookshelves, but as you can tell, they are really, really overflowing right now. And so my plan for today is to build this bookshelf and put it here and just like move these over just a little bit like to line up with this picture right here, but then make a corner little library and then spread out the books. So. This room is much 
different actually even before that clip I had a lot of my crafting stuff out in the room and it's just I am no longer like a crafter like that's not my first hobby like I wouldn't categorize myself as a crafter like I once used to I would make scrapbooks and cards and just be really crafty and it was my craft room and I still do like being crafty but it's not like all of the time so now I have a craft closet and I absolutely love that um, but I'm more of just like I want to have a place where I can come to to relax and escape and cozy up with a cup of tea and a really good book or play Animal Crossing or Disney Dreamlight Valley in my cozy little corner while Pippin's in his bed and it's just it makes just being at home a really cozy cozy place so that's why I wanted to redo this room and it's a lot different, but I absolutely love it from when I first moved in. Now that I have a third bookshelf in here, my bookshelves are much more organized. So I'll go ahead and when I do the tour, I will go through like what each shelf is and how I kind of organized it. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to kind of talk about my TBR. I don't know, it's the books that I want to read in like the next month or so. First, let's talk about my current read. I have my current read in this really cute Hufflepuff book sleeve, and this is from Book Besties UK on Etsy. And I am currently in the middle of a Christmas romance book. I am quite literally halfway through, and I just finished my like, October Halloween romance, which is The Kiss Curse. I just finished that a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a week ago, and then I picked this book up. So to say I'm kind of behind is the understatement of the year. I would like to finish this before January, and I believe today is, I don't even know, December 28th? I think that sounds right. It's December 28th. Christmas was on Monday. Today is Thursday. So I still do have a few days for me to finish this because I really don't want my first read of 2024 to be a Christmas book. So, I mean, if I sit down and read this book over the next couple of days, I know that I can finish this. Speaking of the first read of 2024, it has to be, it has to be Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. I read Fourth Wing. It took me forever to read it because I'm in the middle of a book club thing and it just all the book club books took priority and it took me forever to read Fourth Wing, but I devoured the last half of Fourth Wing. I cried. I was watching like the perfect ambiance room. When I tell you I watch ambiance rooms in my classroom, I mean I watch ambiance rooms everywhere. I just had to mute the ambiance room in the living room because of copyright issues, but there's always an ambiance room on and you can find them for so many things and one was a fourth wing one and it was perfect and I cried and my heart was racing and I absolutely loved it. I need to read Iron Flame. I just need to. I don't want any spoilers. So I need to read it. Anyways, this is the book I want to read going into 2024. If I could read this in like the first week of January and have this read before I go back to school, that would be perfect. So my winter break, I have 10 days left, maybe nine days, because it's like 4.30 right now. I would like to finish this Christmas book in a couple of days. And then I would like to read, read Iron Flame. So these are my TBR list for the rest of winter break. What do I want to read after winter break? Well, I'm in the middle of reading the Throne of Glass series. I read The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Era of Fire. So I read the first four. I think I'm about to start Queen of Shadows. I don't really remember what happened in the first four. I don't really want to reread them because it took me a while to get through them. Um, maybe I'll watch some like recap videos and pray that I do not get it spoiled for the rest of it. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I want to go from one fantasy, which is Iron Flame, into another fantasy right away. So 
I'm also thinking of crushing my heart and reading A Little Life. I've heard so many people say that they love this book, but they would never, ever recommend it to anyone because it's just like soul crushing. So, um, I guess if I'm in the mood for like a really good cry, I'll pick this up. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Um, but I would like to read this like in January or at least get it started. And then my one other book, because I'm keeping, like I'm not gonna go crazy and be like, I'm gonna read 100 books this year. No, I'm gonna keep it simple. The next book I want to read is The Echo of Old Books. And I want to buddy read this with my friend Amanda. So we're gonna have to kind of come up with like a reading calendar and then read a few chapters at a time meet up for coffee once a week and talk about the book i really really am looking forward to like doing buddy reads with people in person and doing a buddy read with my sister and it's just i am a person that needs to talk about a book as i'm reading it to really understand it and instead of like talking about a book after i've read it i also really want to start a reading journal this year so i can remember like specifically what books I loved, which books I didn't like, and specific reasons. So when people ask me about the books I read, I can either look at my reading journal or I've already processed the thoughts in my mind. So with that said, I'm gonna stick with these four books. This is not my January TBR because I know me personally, I'm not gonna be able to read this much in a month. I just, with teaching, and just other hobbies and other things that I do, there's just no way that I can get through this many books in a month. But I'm really hoping that these two books will be my books for winter break. And then, after I get that done, read through this with my friend. And then maybe start chipping away at a little life. So, those are my reading plans for the next... I don't know, month or so. Maybe if you guys like this kind of content, I can do a reading wrap up if you guys would like. And then when I pick up my next books, if you guys wanna know what books that I'm reading, um, I can let you guys know on here on a little update. But with that said, like I said, I am fighting and trying to race the lighting and there's overhead lighting on and all this stuff. So. I am going to turn the camera around and give you a quick little tour of my room, show you my bookshelves, show you my craft closet, and just show you what I did to my room. cozy room. I told you guys that this used to be a craft room, not this specific room, but just my rooms in general used to be crafting focused. And I made, fun fact, I made crafting videos on Genuine Crafts, which is no longer a YouTube channel anymore. But that's why this says, welcome, I'm crafting. And on the back it says, I'm filming. And this is a wreath that I've made. And I kind of just, I keep it there because it reminds me of what my room started off as. So here is an overview of my room with its cozy lighting right now. You guys know I do not like overhead lighting, but 
For this video, I will go ahead and turn on the overhead lighting for you. So let's go on into this room and give you an overview of what it looks like. This is just a random assortment of things that I've collected over the years and it just kind of lives behind my door. I have some hats here, but then this is my recent birthday gift from my husband and I absolutely love records and I was using his record player in the living room and I really wanted my own record player so he got me this one I absolutely love it because you can use it with a Bluetooth speaker one day I would like to get like speakers that live just in here but it works with my Bluetooth speaker and it's absolutely perfect and here we have Pippin um, our guest so um, he will be probably in a million of these shots but there's Pippin my 16 year old wiener dog almost 17 in March so let's just go into all of my room this right here is like reading stuff there's random things in here there's some crafting stuff but mostly like my reading journals and my reading sleeves this is just random crafting stuff and filming supplies here is a DSLR camera the current album I'm actually listening to and then here are all of my records and then some alcohol markers for crafting and then in here is my crafting closet I absolutely love that I made a crafting closet so I'll just give you a sneak peek I won't go like in detail what's in all of these but this is just all my crafting stuff I have my Cricut there I have my silhouette machine back there somewhere that I used to make stickers here are all my crafting supplies and then this bookshelf used to be out in the main part of my room and I actually didn't like it because like I said I, I'm not mainly a crafter so I like that now I have a crafting closet that's also where my school bag lives and I love it because every time that I come home from work I just put it in there and now it doesn't exist so that is one side and then the other side of the closet is just some, like, fancy outfits. My wedding dress is back there and just some nicer clothes that I don't really access all that often. And then more crafting stuff. And then my printer, which awkwardly sits there. But since it's covered with a curtain, it's actually not that bad. I normally work out in my garage, however, since it is winter and it is cold in the mornings, I brought my weights in to this room, and now that I have so much more space, I actually can work out in my room again, and so that's here for the winter. But this is my computer, and this is my little doggy that wants to get in bed, and he always, always has to have a bed in my office. No matter which house I live in, he always needs to have it. So this is my computer. I originally have my computer here, and then I had that big old shelf along this wall, and I absolutely, I hated it. I did not like it. So now I have my computer in front of the window, and since it is winter, that tree is just sticks. But in the summer and in the spring, I love opening this window and just like hearing the birds chirp. This tree is beautiful. It gets really full, it gets green, and in the fall it turned gorgeous yellow and orange, and I just love this view. And we'll go ahead and keep the windows open so we can catch some of that sunlight coming in. This is an overview of my bookshelves, and I'll go in detail about the bookshelves in just a second, but this is my little cozy corner, and this is a chair that I got from World Market, and I love having a chair in here because I curl up and read a book, or I curl up and I play my Switch, or I curl up and I have a perfect view to my computer and I just like watch YouTube. So this is like my cozy room. I absolutely love it. So these are my bookshelves. I just built this bookshelf and it's brand new. And fun fact, I got all these bookshelves for free. I just use my Target Circle Card membership that's literally for free. You put your phone number in every single time you make a purchase at Target and eventually it adds up as free money that you can use. So I got two bookshelves like a couple years ago and I just got my third bookshelf a couple months ago and I've never paid for it. Now I don't love 
how big these bookshelves are. I feel like these bookshelves just need another shelf. So then there's three on the top and three on the bottom instead of three on the top and then two awkward huge ones at the bottom. But I'm not complaining because they're free. And like I said, my long-term goal is to be like this whole wall be just like built-in bookshelves. So let's go to the bookshelves. Up on top, I have all of my plants that are in this room. I went with a rainbow theme for all of my romance books on the top and I have room to grow so I will take my bookshelf up on that offer very soon I am sure. I have my start of my fantasy this is literally just Sarah J Mass shelf and then fantasy continues along this way and it carries along this way. Then down here this is more fantasy but more like dark academia which is by far my favorite genre of reading ever and this is all dark academia and then we get into my horror section and my Stephen King and then this is more like thrillers over here and then down here you have more horror books down here and then I will skip these for just a second and come down here. I have my graphic novels and my book of the month collection. And then over here I have nonfiction and biographies and memoirs. And over here is all my holiday books. So again, I feel like this is a really waste of a shelf. It's awkward. Now, could I make this one a little bit shorter and then make this one huge? Absolutely, but it would be even more awkward. So. That takes you to the last two most awkward shelves. And this is just my general fiction. And I just, I kind of need to just start reading through some of my books so I can start unhauling some of these books that I've had in my collection for years. And either I just want to read them once and give them a new home or I just need to go through them and just realize that some of these books I'm never going to read and it's okay to pass it on to new homes. So after that, I have my gallery wall. I made this at Board and Brush. This was purchased at a local art show along with that. These are from Disneyland. This is a poem that I wrote when I was in kindergarten. This is the letter board. It just, I just keep it like that because it's always true. And then these two pictures I got from Hobby Lobby this school signs from an antique store and I already said that this was from World Market. Then I have this shelf I believe is from Target from a long time ago and another poem that I wrote and then I have some of my essential oils and that hat is also from Disneyland. And then I have an Anne of Green Gables print that I absolutely love. I have my diffuser. I have my incense. I absolutely love burning incense. This is my middle grade shelf. So like all of your children's books as far as like chapter books go. My children's books that are picture books are actually in the garage. And I think I've shown that already before on this channel. But I made some paw prints of Pippin. Here's where my switch lives. And then this is a library book that I checked out from the library. So that is my room. And this is an overview of it. It's not huge, but um, it's also not super tiny like the other room was in my old house. was just like a, it's just a den and it was in the middle of the house. And even though I absolutely did love it, I have learned to love this room even more. And if it ever gets dirty or just kind of want privacy, I now have a door and I can close it all up. So that is my room. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching my channel in general. This is my first video of 2024 and hopefully by the time you're seeing this, I am not still in the middle of that Christmas book. But definitely, again, check out the link in the description below for your pair eyewear discount code and link. Absolutely love them. Can't wait to get more top frames. If you like this style of video and you want to see more of a variety for me, definitely let me know in the comments because 
I just, like I said earlier in this video, I'm feeling a pull to share more of like my life with you guys and that includes including my hobbies outside of teaching because even though I love teaching and I know so many of you guys out there love it, it is not our entire life and it is nice to sprinkle in some other content here and there so we don't just feel like we wake up and then eat sleep and breathe our jobs so thank you again for watching if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to be notified of future videos go ahead and hit subscribe and until next time happy teaching bye friends